Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday morning. And today is I don't give a shite about my hair Saturday. <laughs> Just a warning, if you have small children around, you probably shouldn't let them hear this particular live broadcast. <laughs> I'm coming to you on a Saturday morning a little tired because I actually stayed up last night and ate a bunch of food and watched Netflix late because I have not had a minute to get my mind off things. So that's what I did from my coping mechanism. Hold on a minute. My computer's not charging. See, these are the things that we deal with. Okay, here's what I'm going to show you. I'm in my pajamas. I slept on my hair wet and I just put it up in a ponytail. Guys, put your hair up in a ponytail. I do have makeup on. And I'm going to tell you, if you're going online, this is, I'm going to give you so many tips today. If you go online, the one word I have for you is blush, like blush. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you more on Monday, a little bit more on that, but <laughs> pajamas and Crocs. That's what I'm in. And I hope you guys are too. Let's be authentic today. Today we're going to talk about sharing resources and opportunities and being authentic in this. And I have so much. First of all, I want to say I am getting so many messages about people who've responded to my appeal to go online for mental health resources. A couple of them I've received are that I want to um, talk about are Seattle NAMI. NAMI stands for National Alliance on Mental Illness. And I love NAMI because they provide resources for those with a mental illness diagnosis and also their family members. So Seattle, who's really hard hit right now, has online classes now and support groups and Houston has them. And I'm sure there's more guys post in the comments if you're going online. And if you are going online with mental health resources or support, here's what I'm going to do for you. If you go online, I will show up live at your support group or class for free and speak to your group. Okay, take advantage of that. And I want to thank you for what you're doing and give back to you. Uh, National Education Alliance for Borderline Personality Support. I got an email from you guys. You're going online with your family connections type support. If you want that address, it's borderlinepersonalitydisorder.com. We'll post in the show notes resources as we get them. Guys, Twitter is where we're going to post resources because Twitter is the best way to get out information. So follow me on Twitter, Tammy Green. T-A-M-I-G-R-E-E-N. We're posting resources on everything. And we're going to post the ideas from here today. I want to... Oh, there was a hashtag yesterday I found. Hashtag alone together. Oh my God, is that good? And that's what I want to challenge you guys on today. We are alone, but what can you do for someone else today that's outside of your home? I want to get your focus off your own stuff and on to what's happening and how you can help others. And you're going to feel better and you're going to help other people. Tomorrow, my live session is going to be on Higher Thinking Sunday. Higher Thinking is the processes I use through the Brilliance Code of getting you out of your mind and on to what's happening big picture. And I promise you, you're going to feel so much better after tomorrow's live session. Monday... I'm going to give you my best tips and tricks for getting online quickly, whether it's sharing on social or taking a class online. So I'm going to give you everything I know to get it out quickly and in the best way possible. That's Monday. So 10 a.m. Central Standard Time on all the social media channels. It's live on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. And then we repost to the others that won't let us go live. It's Instagram and um, LinkedIn. Okay, LinkedIn, shout out. Approve me for live. Okay, y'all y'all ask LinkedIn to help me with that. <laughs> all right. Now, I teach in the Brilliance Code that all problems are opportunities. We're going to talk more about that tomorrow. And 
it's a little bit of all kinds of therapies and spirituality all wrapped up together, but it's true. We as humans grow, we as countries, and we as the world grows from problems. There's going to be a lot of growth from this and opportunities, but we're going to talk today about these problems and the opportunities for you and what you can give. I was laying in bed last night <laughs> after my Netflix binge and my food binge, thinking about all the ideas I can come up with to help you think about what you can do for other people today. You have so many more, please post them in the comments. And please post in the comments your story, what you're doing. Guys, we need to hear from you. If there's anything you get out of today, is we need to hear from you. Think about this. Think about this. All teachers are stay-at-home mothers right now. <laughs> All mothers are teachers right now. How much can we share back and forth about that? There's every working mother's a stay-at-home mother. Every mother's a homeschool mother. If you're a teacher and you're at home, share what you know. Share, you know, teachers, we miss you. <laughs> How do you manage a class of 30 people when we can't manage our one, two, or three kids? Like, what? how do you do it? Can you please post it? Just share how you do it. I mean, you've got kids at home, and then you have the classroom. Tell me how, and tell us how we can do it. Tell us how we keep kids engaged. Anything you come up with, share. You stay-at-home moms, get on there and say, hey, this is how I deal normally with my kids when they're at home. Working mothers who aren't used to having their kids all day need your help, right? And all of us are remote workers right now. If you're a remote worker and you know how to re work remotely, what are your best tips? Like, how do you do it, right? Okay. So I'm going to give you more tips in a minute, but I want you to think about, I'm getting a lot of feedback on people that are embarrassed or ashamed about <clears throat> using coping skills today. Things like, I'm eating too much, I'm smoking too much, I'm drinking too much, I'm drinking too much caffeine. Guys, this is not the time. This is a pandemic. You're using your coping skills. Cope. As long as it's not hurting anyone else, just give yourself a little breather for a minute and also Use the opportunity to learn more coping skills. And that's what I teach all the time. But just, just chill out. Give yourself a moment. Hey, Anthony. I see ya. <laughs> okay. Some more ideas for you today. Um, prisoners, guys. Do you have any family member that's a prisoner? Okay, maybe you don't. Maybe you're involved in a prison ministry. Send them books. Send them inspiring books. Get on JPay and give them money to reach out to their family. All right, Cliff, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Thanks for showing up. Um, I want you guys, like I keep saying, post any resources you find. Is there how, you know, if you know anything about housing, food, um, money, those basic necessities of life, anything that helps with your mental health. And then all these things we're going to talk about today. How about mow your lawn for your neighbor? I was thinking, okay, if we can't touch anyone, what are we going to do to help other people? You can mow your neighbor's lawn. You can bring their trash cans in, right? If you're in an apartment, you can take their trash downstairs. You can put it in the trash chute. Little things. I want to challenge you to do as many little things as you can today. Um, pay someone for it at Starbucks. I, I've had this happen to me a couple times where I've been in the line and it was usually on a day I was having a really hard day and I get up and the person before me had paid for everything. Here we have lines to get in grocery stores. How about instead of thinking about how you don't want to be there and you're afraid that you're going to get the coronavirus because you're out, how about you let the mother or the person behind you, whoever it is, how about you let them cut in front of you? Train, trade places. It's a little thing. Little things like, how about smile at someone? Just smile at someone. I remember when I started early in my mental health recovery, which I was in a similar situation to what everyone's in today. All I could do was when I went to Walmart, I would smile back at the cashier. 
Um, I mean, we're going to talk about companies in a minute. That's a, I've got so much for you guys in companies to think about right now. Um, <clears throat> how about if your garden is sprouting tulips or flowers and you only have two? How about you take one of those tulips out and leave it on your neighbor's doorstep with a note? I'm thinking about you. Right? I'm going to cover things that we can all do using our natural gifts and <clears throat> the natural things that we have. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't bring any water on. Okay, I don't give a shite about things today. <laughs> and you shouldn't either. This is just one day, guys. <clears throat> Let's just have a good day. Um, how about send um, someone who's isolated a tablet or whatever's cheap. A lot of people have extra tablets hanging around that they got when they signed up, right? Send them a tablet loaded with games or a grandma. Put FaceTime on there or um, Duo or whatever it is you have <clears throat> and you use, load it for her and pay for the cell phone service for two months. So you can call her and the kids can call her. Send it to her. More ideas. All right, put your ideas in the comments. Guys, if you're having trouble with things, ask. But if you have an idea, please put it in the comments. Guys, we need each other. Okay, if you're hoarding san hand sanitizer, toilet paper, masks, share them. Figure out who needs them and get them to them. Um, how about this one, guys? Donate to your church. And if you're if you want to do it really advanced, like really enlightened stuff here, really stretch you. If you're a Christian, donate to the temple or mosque that serves your community and vice versa. Because we're all serving people and we all have the same goal is to help and to serve God. Now, if you're in the service industry, like my daughter is, something they're doing that's really cool, restaurants are shut down, right? Except for takeout and they're not getting as much business, right? Or bars, they're, they're shut down. You know what they're doing? They're offering, they're cooking what they have in their restaurants and they're posting on social media, six o'clock free meals for the service industry. We're cooking for you. Can you guys do that? If your company is shut down, can you take what you normally do and post it on social media that you're giving it away for free? What about if you have an aquarium cleaning service or a pool service and you can't go help? There's so many things like if you're a handyman, whatever it is, make a YouTube video and share it with your social media. We're all like juggling so much that we have to do and put it on there. Help someone. We're going to talk about the make or break of companies right now and how doing these things is going to make or break you when you come back in a minute. Um... Here's a big one everyone can do, and it's hard. This is like an advanced one, right? And so <clears throat> in these practices I teach, there's you, you're practicing, right? Expanding your mind. How about this one? Don't respond to someone who's being difficult. Just don't respond. Or just say, I know this is hard for you. I can see where you're coming from. Don't respond. Don't react. Don't react. Be proactive. Make an intention that today what you say is going to be helpful to someone else. Um, I have another response from someone. Oh, my God. My husband just brought me something to drink. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Um, another one um, I heard from a dear friend of mine who is getting certified as a peer coach right now to, to, to help other people. Guys, if you're not certified, do it anyway. Get out there and say, what can I help you with? If you're in recovery from a 12-step program, get online with AA, NA, whatever it is, and help the other people who are just getting in recovery. Um, Amazon Prime, guys. I'm like living on Amazon Prime. Have you, and I watch these people, they deliver at my back door and some of them are really tired. 
right now. These guys are on the front lines of getting us stuff. Give them a tip. Give them a tip. And <clears throat> thank them for what they're doing. And use Amazon Prime. Send diapers to mother that you know it's hard for her to get out right now. Use that. What about things like DoorDash? What about DoorDash? My family does this all the time. We're kind of scattered right now. What about sending, a, get on DoorDash, get a Dash Pass for $4.99 a month. It offers free delivery. Scroll down, look at free delivery. I'm doing a lot of plugs for a lot of organizations that are helping right now. And send something to your relative in another state. You can do that. Those are some good ideas. If you guys have more, post them. Now, big one. This is a make or break time for companies. And I am not talking about economics. I'm talking about your branding and your position in the world. People are looking at you as a company and saying, how did you respond to this? And I'm going to give you some ways to change your company. I remember, I'm from Texas. I remember during the hurricane, the companies that did something for the community during that time have my loyalty now. One gymnastics place opened free for everyone. The kids were bouncing off the walls. That's not something we can do right now. But what can you do as a company? Here's some ideas. Call your customers. Call your vendors. Call your boss. Call your employees. DoorDash them a cheesecake. See how they're doing. Get on social media, guys, and be authentic. CEOs especially. Lead your company by getting on authentically. Have your kids running around in the background. Show up and be how your people and your customers are feeling. And big corporations have way more assets and ideas that I can even think of. What can you do? What can you share? How can you help right now? From a bottom line business standpoint, this is your very best moment to shine in marketing. Very best. How are you going to use it? And for all of you, I want you to think, looking back on this time, how did you show up as an individual and as a company? How did you show up during this time? Are you the person that's on the front lines rescuing people? Are you the person who's too afraid to do anything? And if you're too afraid, that's okay. Ask for help. But if you're a person who wants to look back on this time and feel the best about yourself that you can, do something. Use every resource you have to help someone else today. I, guys, I haven't slept very much. And for a person who values her mental health and uses mental health skills all the time, like meditation and everything, this is hard. This is hard for me because I like to sleep or I like to take time and just meditate, but I can't. This is urgent. Get out there and do something for someone else. And when I say get out there, it's going to be in your house. <clears throat> it's going to be in your house. Do something. Be the light you wish to see in the world today. You do it. It's not as much what the government does. It's what we as individuals do. We have power and we have control right now. And here's the opportunity. All right, please keep posting in the comments, resources, ideas, any, use all these ideas I gave you. Think of more, post them and share, share. Use my social media to promote what you're doing. Do it on your social media. And if you're a social media buff, okay, Instagram, can we have no selfie Sunday tomorrow? Can everyone on Instagram tomorrow post something important that doesn't have your face on it, right? Think about it outside the box. This is your time to shine, okay? I love you guys. I'm here for you. We need each other. Thank you for the great responses you are giving to me. And thank you that you're joining together with me to help the world right now and make it a better place. Because we can go one of two ways. What's your choice? Do you want to make the world better? Or you want to make it worse right now? It's up to you. 
get on TammyGreen.com, T-A-M-I-G-R-E-E-N.com. Sign up for my newsletter because all this is coming out in my newsletter all the time. Stay tuned for podcasts next week because a lot of people are saying, can we just, a lot of people are saying, can we just subscribe <laughs> to your podcast? We're working on that. Okay. I love each other. I love each other. I'm looking at what someone said. I love you guys. Aw, thank you. All right. Whoops. Hold on. Okay. Hannah, thanks for posting TammyGreen.com on there. Guys, shout out to Hannah, who's being stretched way past her comfort zone. To Dayton, who keeps inspiring us to be authentic. And to Christian, who's giving his time selflessly right now in our company to get all this out to you guys. Shout out to all the people helping. I love you guys. Bye.